So John, I find a lot of people are confused with terminology in golf, like over the top and what's lag. Could you explain a few? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I think that's part of the problem. You know, you play with people and they say, give you a terminology and you really feel like you don't want to not know, so you don't ask and you, they keep on repeating the same thing. Lag is something that is a function of doing things properly before. Uh, and I often tell people, you're trying to lag, you're trying to hold back the power that you never had. So there's a lack of, when you don't see someone with, this would be a person with a great deal of lag, okay? But he knows, or she knows, that that's a necessity because they have a lot of power at the bottom, so they have to have lag to square it. So if a person is playing with the face that typically is open, they have to start throwing the face to square it. So if you don't address the face correctly, now if you get the face square, lag naturally happens as a function of where the ball goes. So if I have a person that's, let's say, weakly slicing, I don't address the problem with the grip and the face, because they're throwing the face because that's how they have to square it. If I've got them here and they got leg, that ball goes straight way to the right and they're getting worse. So then all, all of a sudden they start to do things like spin the face, which is a disaster. So over rotating the face because I'm trying to lag it and if I don't roll the face, it goes way right. But you have to address the root of the problem and that's club face control first. Then you can start getting a little more advanced. And if it sounds complicated, it's wrong.